So today we're going to install a different kind of uh, stabilizing bar for the RV. So instead of these ones right here, these kind, which these kind, when you're jacking it up, it gives it a stabilization this way, so you're not bouncing up and down, but you still get all the swinging around because there's nothing to stabilize it this way. That's why when you have these type, when you're walking around, the RV is still swinging around on you. You know, when the kids are walking, everybody's just kind of swinging around. Now, let me show you the other kind. So these are the ones that we're going to be installing on the RV. But basically, these are a C-channel, so they come up like this, and they cross brace this way. And it keeps the RV from doing a side sway. Now, technically, you could still get a little bit of a front and back swing towards it. But I think because of the tires being chalked, and this getting rid of the side sway and the upward sway, you're not gonna get any kind of back and forth sway out of it because you're eliminating, you know, two, uh, one, two out of the three axes of sway control and your chalking of your tires are gonna pretty much eliminate the third one. So this should at least get like 90% of your sway out of your RV. And it's really simple to install. Now, what you do is you buy these, comes in a set of two, and you kind of need to buy this. Unless you have an extra cross brace or you're mounting this on a cross brace, you need a cross brace. And what this does, it slides in like that. And that way you've got one frame here, one frame over there. And this does your cross bracing on your RV for you. So you do have to buy that separately if you don't have a cross brace that you're mounting this on. Now, since my RV does not have a cross brace, my jacks were mounted on a brace like this. So the frame's here, and there was this piece kind of on along there. It's welded on the vehicle, but it's fine on the front, but the back, I need to add an extra one of these and add an extra long set of bolts because my sewer tank, my black tank, is right here, and it's too low, and this cross brace is going to hit it. So I'll show you after I get this mounted up what that's going to look like. The nice thing is, you know, this isn't going to be a dreadful installation. This is going to be a pretty easy installation. It's just taking out the old ones and they just shoot right out and put new ones in. So I don't think this is going to be a hard installation process at all. So let's go ahead and get started on the installation. So here comes the easy part. These are going to come off nice and easy. I got this drill right here. And just make sure that you wait till a nice rainstorm and make sure the ground is nice and muddy and dirty. Or you can get all nice and dirty when you're doing this. Or you can get some cardboard. Or I have this. Just some old insulation board. That way I don't get all filthy when I'm doing this. But yeah, I had to wait till it rained, right? Now, just put this on there. One. Two, three, four, and that is it. Take that off, throw that junk away, do your other side, and then uh, you can install your new ones on here. Now, I'm gonna install the front ones on because they're the easiest, and I'll show you the after installation of this. So here it is. I was able to reuse one of the holes that I had the old jack on, but I did have to drill a new hole for the other one. But for installation process, this thing is really simple. Like I said, two bolts, two bolts, and then you put two to join that cross brace on. And you don't need the cross beam if you're gonna be installing this on a main beam. But since I don't have a main beam for installation, this is a cross brace I needed for this installation. Now let's show you the back one. And you can see, the triangulating uh, bracing is gonna really stabilize this RV. And these are designed for travel trailers or for fifth wheels. So really easy installation. So as you can see, the rear is not gonna be as easy, at least on my travel trailer, but this is gonna fix everything. I'm gonna be putting this right in between here. That's gonna bolt up to the original holes and this will bolt right up to it, so it'll drop it an inch and a half, which will give me plenty of clearance for my black tank. So that's gonna fix that. 
So I'll get that installed right now. So this is probably one of the easiest things I've ever installed on the RV. Like I said, it's just a cross brace. You can see the C channeling there and the channeling over there. So it completely eliminates side sway of your RV. And I'll go in to do a test run. And I'll show you the little plate I had to add. So basically I had to make this little piece. I got this at Home Depot um, and cut the length. And then that fills up the gap. That way it's not touching my black tank. So yeah, that wasn't hard at all. I was a little nervous about it working, but it was pretty easy. And now let's go inside and do a shake test. So here's the shake test before I installed the bracing. So this is the shake test after I installed everything. So you still get a little bit, but it's very little. I'm not even feeling it in the RV, but you do get a little bit of shaking around. So that is it for this build. And like I said, look at the stabilization. It's solid as a rock. I mean, that is gonna make a big difference when you're camping. Kids walking around at night, they ain't gonna wake you up anymore. This is the thing to do. And it was cheap, um, cheap for what it is anyway, and pretty easy. So. Uh, that's it. And you like what we're doing, please subscribe. We'll see you next episode.